Awesome. Welcome, everybody. I'm really excited to be here. My name is Aaron, um, and I work for Elmer's, and I will be leading you today um, through this, this slime journey that we're going to be going through. So again, I'm super excited to be here. We're going to be making some firecracker slime, uh, one of my favorite slime recipes, using some of my favorite Elmer's items. Um, and just to kind of give you guys a little bit of background, I'm, I'm repping my Elmer's sweatshirt right now for you guys, and I'm actually coming from you live from Elmer's headquarters um, in Atlanta. So, you know, there's there's some stuff going on at the, at the office, obviously really no one here, um, you know, because of the pandemic trying to get back into it, um, but but some, some cool products just right there behind me. Um, so I basically, my job is to be able to play with slime. I get to kind of really learn a lot from you guys. You guys are the slime experts and, you know, we kind of look at what you guys are posting on social media you know, what are the new products um, that, that you guys are going to love? And that's kind of my job. So, I mean, I, I really can't complain. It's, it's really a, a, a great job to be a part of. And as I'm kind of going through this, please, you know, feel free to ask questions about Elmer's in general, about me. Um, you, can, you can type those into the Q&A and, and Megan can kind of go ahead and read those to me so we can have a little bit of a communication here. Um, but so I really don't want to, I don't want to go uh, too fast. So, you know, if you guys ever have any questions, uh, need me to slow down for a second, please just let me know because I'm here for you guys and I want to make this the most enjoyable experience possible. Um, so before I get started, um, before I kind of, you know, get, get into the slime, um, uh, the slime here, just to remind you guys, if for some reason something happens during the class, you don't have some of the ingredients, um, like, like we just kind of said, you can go uh, to michaels.com slash classes uh, to be able to, to view this class later. So if you want to, uh, tomorrow it'll post and it'll be up there so that you can share it with people or you can kind of continue to do the, the exercise, the activity um, if, if, if you'd like. So that'll be available for you guys. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of just dive into what we're going to need for this, for this um, project here. So um, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of go through them. I'll stop afterwards for questions. If you guys have any questions about any of the supplies, any alternatives that you guys um, need to use, but let me just kind of go into it and kind of present the supplies that we have and some alternatives that you guys could use. Um, so first of all, we got this bowl here, you know, the bowl, you know, obviously we're going to mix these in. I have two bowls because we're going to be making two types of slime. One of them is going to be blue. One of them is going to be like a red pink. Um, it's okay to just have one bowl. Um, and, and if you have like a, you know, a cup or a bag to be able to store the other slime and so you can make the other slime. Uh, but I got this clear bowl from, from Michael. So, um, was able to, was able to pick that up. And the second really important ingredient is going to be some sort of mixing device. So that's either going to be a spoon, a spatula, um, really anything that, that, that you can use to, to be able to mix the slime. So, Really, you know, it's okay if you don't have like a specific spatula that looks like this, really just anything that ideally is not your hands. We'll, we'll get into it with your hands, uh, but first, you know, it, it's nice to be able to have a stir so that you don't need to get too, too sticky. Um, so one of the first main ingredients that we have is going to be our color changing glue. So we're gonna be using the blue to purple color changing glue. And now if you guys don't have this specific glue, really any blue glue will work. And even if you don't have a blue glue, you could still use our clear glue. You could use school glue. If you have um, food coloring, then that would be great. Um, but even if, you, even if you don't have, if you have a different color like green or yellow, it's all good. Obviously when we mix these together at the end, it's going to create a certain color. And we're doing this because, you know, obviously Memorial Day coming up here and, and want to kind of get into the festivities with the firecracker slime. Um, but it's really okay if you don't have this specific glue or if you don't have a blue glue. The other glue that we're going to be using is this pink metallic glue. So we're going to be making them separately and then we're going to be mixing them together to, to make this really nice violet purple color. So again, if you have any of our other, glue, you know, we have, um, you know, the, we have red color glue, just kind of not metallic. We have red glitter glue. Um, again, if you have like red food coloring, um, with something like clear glue or school glue, that'll work as well. Really, no worries if you don't have this specifically, but this is what we're going to be using today. 
Another real important thing is going to be our magical liquid. So this is what we're going to be using um, to be activating our slime. Now, um, it's all good if you don't have the crunchy magical liquid, um, you can use just normal magical liquid. And if you don't have magical liquid, um, I I'm also going to be showing you how to just do this with uh, baking soda and also contact lens solution. So I know that that's kind of a, you know, that was kind of the, um, the way that everyone was making it before we came out with magical liquid. Obviously, I know that there are different ways to make slime. We really like to make it with the magical liquid, um, but it's really all good if you don't have that. And if you don't have the crunchy magical liquid, I was actually able to pick up these slime balls at Michael's. Um, so I'll be using this for, for that activity. So if you, if you um, have any sort of white you know, foam balls uh, laying around, if you have any of those sort of supplies, um, and, and, and you're not making it with the crunchy magical liquid, um, you can always go and grab that. So no worries there. Um, I'm also going to be having uh, some paper towels. So that's always a, a good thing to just have on standby because when I, when I make my slime, I like to just kind of poke it to see if, it's, see if it's ready to start picking up. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but I like to have those paper towels. Um, so that's really, that's really the, the supplies that I have. Um, I'll kind of pause there um, for any sort of questions before we kind of start to dive into to making our first type of slime. Aaron, we did get one question about the color change glue. Can you explain mm -hmm. how or when it changes color? Yeah, of course. So for the color changing glue, um, this one changes with sunlight. So basically, you have to go um, and you know outside or by a window when it's sunny, and, and the sunlight will change it from blue to purple. It'll also it can also a, a UV light can also do the same thing. Um, so if you happen to have one of our color changing kits, we have many UV lights in there which look just like this. Um, but if but if not, all good. Um, you know what you can do is is you know um, with your parent after this activity, you can ask for to go outside. Um, and to look at the slime and see if it changes colors. We're going to be mixing um, both of these slimes together. So it's not going to have the same, the same kind of effect as if you just had this slime. Um, but yeah, it, it changes with sunlight and, U, and UV light. And then we have, we have other glues actually that are a little bit newer um, that change just in the palm of your hand with heat. So that's how these, that's how these change colors, it's pretty cool. Thanks. Awesome. All right, so I am going to, to start. Um, I'm going to actually be starting with the metallic uh, slime. So I'm gonna try and try and go slowly because obviously, uh, you know, s slime is kind of its own little thing. It's always a little science experiment. So even though I make slime all the time, um, you know, I still have to kind of experiment with it um, and, and go little by little at a time. So. The first step that we're going to do is basically just we're going to take our glue and we're not going to deal with with the cap we're just going to take the entire cap off so we want to be able to just pour the entire bottle of glue in here and so i'm going to go ahead and just start dumping the entire bottle of glue um, into this bowl right here so this glue is a little bit thick um, definitely, uh, you would be kind of sitting here for a little bit if you wanted to get all of that in. Uh, so we're just going to kind of get as much out as we can. Uh, this, this glue is, is particularly thick. Um, so I'm just going to kind of, as you can see, I'm just trying to kind of squeeze the parts that, that, that are a little bit softer um, to, get, to get all this glue out. But we're just going to do this for a minute. And then what you want to do is you just want to put the, the bottle of glue to the side. And, and let the rest of the glue sink back down and don't throw it away. Um, just, you know, after this activity, you'll see that you probably still have a good quarter of the bottle left that you can use at another time. Um, so we don't need the entire tire bottle, but we just want to kind of get as much as we can out of this. And while I'm doing this, I, I, I wanted to, you know, ask you guys, I know that, um, it's Memorial Day this weekend. And so, you know, I was wondering what your guys' plans are. Um, and, you know, I'm actually going to be going to this like river and we get a bunch of, we get a bunch of tubes and we just float down it. So you can just kind of like, 
hang out and float down the river. And so I'm, I'm curious kind of what you guys are doing for the holiday. If you want to um, put it in, put it in the Q and a so that Megan can read some of them. I would love to know what everyone's doing. Cause I know that this is, I know some people are still in school. Some people aren't. Uh, so I would love to hear from you guys and, and kind of interact. I, I wish I could see your guys' lovely faces, um, but this way we will be able to kind of, um, I'll at least be able to hear from you um, and hear about, you know, all your exciting plans for the long weekend. I know I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to the long weekend for sure. I bet you guys are too. We've got oh. someone's going to the tide pool, somebody's going to Maryland, somebody's going to Utah to see some family, awesome. camping. That sounds Lots of fun. fun things because we're doing yeah. a lot of really fun things. Going to the pool. Yeah. Oh. I have a few friends that are going camping. I feel like this is a perfect weekend to go camping. It's uh it's just Definitely. like nothing better than just you know some camping, some barbecue, some some pool time. Awesome. Sounds like you guys are are doing some really fun stuff. So I have um, poured as much of the metallic glue as I could into this bowl right here. And what we're gonna want to do is take our crunchy magical liquid and you know, you could always add more magical liquid, but you can't take away magical liquid. So what I like to do is do it real slowly. Um, so I, I kind of like to, to just kind of put a little bit, mix, put a little bit, mix, put a little bit, mix. I like to then kind of just dab my finger in there to see kind of how sticky it is and if it's ready to be picked up. Because the, the way that, you know, when you're making slime, a lot of the activator will kind of fall to the to the sides of the bowl and enter your spatula. And so even though, you know, you can see that it's a little bit sticky, when you pick up the slime and you start um, making it with your hands um, and you start kind of stretching it, the, the oils from your hands will actually activate it even more. So if it's a little bit sticky when you first pick it up, that's fine. If it's like so sticky that it just still feels like glue, then you'll definitely want more magical liquid. Um, but let's just kind of go through this slowly. I like to, like I said, just, just put a little bit. So with the, with the crunchy magical liquid, it's a little bit different because it's all gonna come out in these balls. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of try and get a, a little bit to start here. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna go overboard. Um, so let's just put, this is good. So just this sort of amount right here. And I'm gonna start stirring. And really quickly with our magical liquid, it'll start to, to come together in a way, you know, it, you can already see that it's, it's starting to kind of group together a little bit, although it's still, if you kind of pick it up and, and look at it like this, it's still going to be a little bit slimy. We're going to need to do a few more rounds of magical liquid, um, but, you know, different than contact lens solution and baking soda, our magical liquid kind of, um, it gets to the job pretty quickly. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's really meant to kind of be, be a replacement for that, be a, a more safe replacement, uh, for borax, which I know that some people use. Um, and I, I just, I don't know, I just really love this, this crunchy one because you don't have to have another add in, you don't have to buy anything else. You're just kind of getting this one product and then you have all the, you have these crunchy balls in it so that your slime is going to be crunchy right off the bat. So I, I, this is probably my favorite magical liquid um, and probably my favorite product of Elmer's in general. So I know that you guys are probably mixing and I know I'm, I'm, I'm asking all these questions, but when you have a minute and, and you have a hand, I would love to know what your favorite Elmer's uh, product is because, you know, obviously I'm, I'm surrounded by them all the time. And I, I'm just really curious as to what you guys are, are, are loving to make slime with. So if you, if you want to put that in when you have a second, um, I would love to hear what's going on there. Um, but I'm also going to give this another, another squirt because it's a little bit, um, it's, it's, it's definitely still too gluey. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more magical liquid in, but just a little bit. And I'm going to keep stirring. We got an answer for scented. I'm guessing scented magical liquid, which I yeah. love that too. Love it. Adds a nice, adds a nice scent to it. I, I, yeah, I mean, slime, slime is meant to be scented. You know, I, I, I love scented slime. It's, it's, it's one of my favorites. So that's, 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 that's always a good one. 
All right. So this is this is definitely still too sticky. We're going to have to add a little bit more. You can see that it, you know, it, it kind of starts to to um, come off the bowl just a little bit when you're doing certain mixes. Um, but we're going to we're going to need a little bit more here. So, you know, it's all about not rushing, just kind of taking it slow. You don't want to overactivate it because, again, you you know, you, you can add glue if you overactivate it. You can add lotion if you overactivate it. Um, but it's just not it's it's just you want to kind of. Uh, it's kind of better safe than sorry, you know. So I like to I like to kind of just take it slowly. Getting some more answers, Aaron. Another uh, love for scented activator. We love it. Um, nice. Glow in the dark glue and colored pink glue. Nice. All great products. Mm -hmm. Those are all fun to mix slime with. Yeah, I, I miss I miss making slime with with you guys in person. Honestly, I mean it 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 was it was always so fun to just go and and make slime with people, and that's that's something that I'm looking forward to to hopefully getting back to soon. All right, so believe it or not, this is going to need a little bit more magical liquid. So I'm just going to put a little bit more. That was a little bit more than I wanted, maybe, but that's why we take it slow. And this will probably be my last, my last um, score to magical liquid for now. So as you can see, it's really getting hard to mix. And when it really starts to get hard to mix and kind of ball up like this, um, that's when you kind of know that it's, that it's ready. But like I said before, what I like to do first is I like to just give it a little touch. All right, so you can see my finger is, is, is pretty dry. It's, it's a little bit of magical liquid on it, but it's not too, it's not too wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this off of the spatula. Get this in frame. Hey, Aaron, really yep. quick before you pick it up, will you just repeat quickly what the recipe for this slime is? So we had a couple oh, people join course. a little bit late. Yeah, of course. So if you're joining late, uh, what we did for this slime is we basically just dumped the entire bottle of this pink uh, metallic glue in it. And then we just added little squirts of this crunchy activator until it felt as though it wasn't sticky enough and then I could pick it up with my hands. So what I like to do is just pour the whole bottle of, of glue in there and slowly add the magical liquid, have it come together. The more time that it actually has uh, to come together, it, it will actually do it on its own. So if you kind of give it a second, um, it will, you, you'll need a little bit less activator, but basically this is just our Elmer's glue and then also our magical liquid activator. It's the crunchy one and you just mix it in real slow until you can kind of poke it. And it's, it's not too sticky that you're just, that it's all over your fingers. So that was what we Thanks. did for this one. And we're, and we're going to do another slime here in, in a second. So if, if you if you hopped on late and you didn't see all of this slime, um, we'll, we'll be making one in a second that, that you'll be able to that you'll be able to see. Cool. So I am going to pick it up now. I do want to caution even even though it's not like sticky, sticky, it's still a little bit sticky. Um, and, and like I said, when, when you kind of put it in between your hands, um, that, is going to, that is going to kind of release the oils from your hands and that is going to help um, with, with uh, you know, it coming together and it not being as sticky. So what I like to do is kind of like start stretching it and kind of getting, getting it activated that way. And, and one of the things, the other things to do is if it's a little bit too sticky, what you'll want to do is you'll want to kind of clean off the utensils. So the first thing that I do is I clean off um, the spatula because the spatula has some magical liquid on it. And as you can see, there's a lot of residue um, right here in the bowl. And, and when, you, when, when you have kind of like this slime blob um, that's a little bit sticky, what you'll be able to do is actually clean the bowl with the slime. So kind of just like, pressing it down and picking it back up. And you'll be able to actually clean the bowl so you'll have a little bit less cleanup later. But at the same time, you're also kind of mixing in more of the magical liquid, which is kind of on the edges of the bowls. And so it's activating even more. 
So again, if, if you're if you're still if you're still mixing with the spatula and it's not exactly um, done as as mine looks right now, just keep putting the magical liquid in there until it's it's you know safe to touch and it's not really sticky. But even if it's a little bit sticky, just pick it up and and then start kind of rubbing it against the bowl because as you're seeing, it's picking up a lot of the residue. Um, but at the same time, th this is where a lot of the activator is. So. I'm just gonna kind of keep, yep. We got a question on what to do if you added too much activator and now your slim doesn't really stretch. Yep. So um, part, uh, you, well, you can, the first thing that I would try is honestly just adding like a little bit of glue. Um, if you add a little bit of glue, um, that can kind of, you know, uh, lessen the ratio of activator to glue. And, and that can help a little bit. But what I would say is probably the, the best thing to do is to get any sort of lotion that you have and put that in because the lotion will kind of make it a little bit more stretchy, more soft, more smooth. Um, but honestly, like it, it's okay if it's a little bit too activated. If, if you also, you know, want to, if you have another bottle to make another one, you can do that. Um, but I would say adding a little bit of glue and then trying a little bit of lotion as well um, to try and to try and kind of soften it out a little bit. That's the problem. It's it's a lot harder to it's a lot harder to go back on on the on the activator than it is to add activator. It's really tempting to keep adding it, um, but trust me. Oh my God, I I overactivate so much slime all the time. So it is it is something that happens all the time. Doesn't matter how much you make slime, it will always happen. And can you say one more time how you know how much activator to use? Yeah, so it's 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 really hard. Like you know, I've I've been making slime for for years now, and there's still really no no real trick to it. Uh, basically, you know, you keep adding activator until it's really hard to mix to the point where it's basically just kind of one glob, and it's you can tell that it's kind of. Um, that it's coming apart from the sides of the bowl. And what I like to do is, is when the slime is kind of here, let's, let's pretend like my slime wasn't as activated. I like to kind of just poke it. And if I still have like glue on my finger, then I'm like, okay, this needs a little bit more activator. But if I, but if I poke it and I'm like, oh, this, this is, this is fine. It's just a little bit of activator. Um, you know, it, it, it's ready to, to pick up then, then that's when, you know, and, and I would also say that if you pick it up and it's still too and it's still too sticky, um, if there's someone else with you there, they can just kind of put a little bit of the activator back in the bowl or on your hands, or you can do it yourself. You can try and pick up the activator and just put a little bit in it if you pick it up like that. Um, that's why it's nice to kind of have the the paper towels to be able to kind of just be able to uh, wipe your hands off if you pick it up a little bit too early. Um, but yeah, that's. That's kind of my trick. I, you know, there's there's no real science to it. Um, it's more of just kind of how it's looking and 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 how much you feel comfortable with picking it up. And really, it's it's also how you want your slime. Um, you know, certain slime, certain people like their slime to be a little bit more sticky and stretchy. Certain people like it to be a little bit more um, activated and, and a little bit less sticky. So it's also kind of up to you on that one. I like my slime to be a little bit more stretchy and sticky and because I've made slime so much, I feel like it just doesn't stick to my hand as much for some reason. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit different maybe, but that's, that's kind of what I would say. And you could see here, I've basically cleaned the bowl with the slime. So if, if your slime is kind of ready, um, it, it will be able to kind of pick up um, uh, the, the, the excess on your bowl. So it's really nice to be able to just kind of clean up basically as you're making slime and it, and, it, and it helps you as you make your slime. So that would be my big tip. If you take away nothing else from this, like you'll, you'll be able to clean up your bowl, make your parents happy, but also make even better slime. What I'm doing right now is just kind of stretching it out. I like to kind of, this, this helps it activate, but I also love the ASMR and the crunchy sounds that come from this. And this is actually something that we're going to be doing at the end of the class when we combine the slimes. So I'm going to like, I'm going to actually go to, to this camera and I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of 
wrapping the slime just kind of around my finger and just continually stretching it. And basically a lot of air bubbles will come in that way. So I'm gonna keep doing this for just another minute. It's fun to just kind of keep stretching it, see how much you can stretch it and how much it's going to expand. And then I kind of just swirl it in my hands and then kind of get some of those, some of those nice pops out of it. So we're gonna be doing that a lot today. That's one of my favorite things. But right now we're basically going to take this slime and we're gonna put it to the side for now. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause again before we start with our next slime. And I'm gonna be actually, I'm gonna be using um, baking soda and contact lens solution for this one. And I'm also going to be adding in these slime balls. So I'm gonna be making it a little bit different. This is for anyone who doesn't specifically have magical liquid or crunchy magical liquid. Um, again, if you don't have the crunchy magical liquid or the, the slime balls, it's all good. Your, your slime doesn't have to have the crunchy in it. We just, we just really like the, the crunchy for the whole firecracker theme, um, but it's really all good if, if you don't. So I'm gonna pause there and get ready for the next slime. So I'm, I'm excited. Hopefully your guys' slime turned out well. Um, and and let's, let's, let's gear up for the next one. Okay, so be using another bowl. I am actually going to be using another spatula for this one, a blue one. Obviously, I'm I have all of these all of these things to fit the theme. I, I wouldn't expect anyone to, to have all of these things. You know, obviously in our office very we have color coordinated to make slime. Yeah, yeah, we have we have the whole gambit. Uh, I wanted to, I want to be color coordinated for you guys. So that's what I've that's what I've done here. And we're just going to grab the blue color changing slime. And before, before we make this slime, I actually just wanted to, to share an interesting story that I learned when I first joined the team on Elmer's, a really kind of fun Elmer story. Um, so there was a, um, there was a penguin in, in uh, San Antonio at SeaWorld. And uh, the penguin, um, basically it was an unhatched penguin, but when, when the, the penguin that was in the egg, um, the, the egg actually broke. So, you know, when, when a penguin is incubating in the egg, it needs to, it needs to be, you know, solid in that egg. It needs to, it needs to be in there and, and it can't be, um, be exposed to any light and any cracks are really not good. And so actually they used Elmer's glue um, to, to repair that, that penguin egg and then when the penguin was born, they named it Elmer. So I'm not sure if they still have that penguin at the San Antonio uh, SeaWorld, but there was a penguin that's named Elmer because Elmer's glue kind of saved it when, when, the, when the egg cracked. So I thought that was kind of a, a fun Elmer's glue story to, to share. And obviously penguins are, are awesome. So um, I wanted to, to share that with you guys before we got into, we got into this next slime. Great story. People are loving it. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I think it's, I think it's a really fun story. I, I love, I love to hear those kind of stories about Elmer's kind of, you know, bringing, bringing joy to people's lives and, and, and in this case, saving lives. And I mean, what I love is just like seeing you guys creating slime, what you guys like about it, like your smiling faces. It honestly, like, it really is the best part of my job. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here making this with you. And I, I honestly can't see what you guys, I, I can't wait to see what you guys create. I can't, I can't see it right now, but after this, I, I hope that, you know, you guys are able to go on, um, you, you guys are able to have your parents go on to social media. And I know that we have, we have certain tags um, uh, that, that I know that we mentioned earlier in the show, um, but tagging at Elmer's products, that will be, that'll be a great way to kind of all be monitoring that to see if you guys um, to see the creations and to see what happened in this class, to see your really pretty firecracker slime. And I also want to say, if you're going to be posting to tag hashtag make it with Michaels and also hashtag Michaels classes. So I'll, I'll remind you again at the end, um, but just the, just a little plug there. It's, it's real. Like I, I legitimately just really want to see what you guys created. Um, so, you, you know, even if you're like DMing Elmer's, it's all good. I just want to see what you guys made. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna start with the second slime. So 
just like the first one, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to just pour the entire bottle of glue into our bowl, into our large cup, into whatever we have to contain our slime. So this one is a little bit less thick than the previous one. So it should be a little bit easier to get out. We have a little bit of a different formula that that kind of the, the pigment that makes uh, the pinks, the pink metallic slime metallic, um, that actually, that, that makes it a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to get out here. So this will be a little bit quicker. And like I said, even for this one, you'll be here for a little bit if you wanna get every little drop out. But what we wanna do is kind of put this off to the side. And then after all this, you can probably make an entirely new slime with just the extras that we have from this. So no need to ever waste. And while I'm here, just to kind of give a, give a plug, um, you can actually recycle all of Elmer's uh, glue products. So any of our glues, any of our magical liquid bottles, any of our goo jars, um, those can be basically recycled um, in, in the just standard recycling. It's just basically trying to get as much of the product out of it and, and you will wanna put it down. So you wanna have your parents put the, um, the, the excess glue down the trash and not down the sink. But I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that, that our products are recyclable. Um, and I know that, that Michael's is, is also um, you know, very into kind of sustainability and recycling. So I wanted to, I wanted to let you know that that is something that us as, as a company that we have announced and that you can also find on our website. So I have- and We yep. got a question about the Elmer's logo and I wanna know if you know it because I don't think that I know it. Do you know why the Elmer's mascot is a bull? Yeah, it's actually a really interesting story. So um, there was a company a while ago called Borden and it was a dairy company. Um, and this was, this was popular I, around you know, 50, 60 years ago. Um, it was really, really popular and it was a big dairy company. And that company actually took a protein um, that was used in, um, that was used in, in their, their milk byproduct is called casein that they actually used to make the first Elmer's glue out of. So that Elmer's glue actually came out of this, this Borden Dairy Company. I, it's very important to know that we don't make it with anything like that today. It's all synthetic and, and, and non-toxic um, ingredients. So that's, that's something of the past, but basically the, the mascot for Borden um, was Elsie the cow. And so when they, were, when they were making this new glue product, they were like, hey, Elsie should, ha should have, Elsie has a husband and his husband is named Elmer. And so she's a cow. Elmer is her husband, who's the bull. They actually had like four children. There's all of these like comic books on it. There's actually a whole thing on it, which is really interesting and fun. So I'm really glad that you guys asked that question because it's really cool. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it spans back. If you type up like uh, Elmer the bull or Elsie the cow, uh, you'll find a lot of really interesting things. But a lot of people don't even know that the logo is a bull. They think it might be like a pig or a cow. Um, but it is, it is a bull and, and yeah, it comes all the way from the Borden Dairy Company. I bet if you guys ask some of your parents, um, they'll, they'll recognize Borden and they'll recognize Elsie the cow. Thank you for that question. That is, that was awesome. So right now we have our color changing glue here and before we even make it with slime, I'm going to use my UV light. I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make a little smiley face. Sorry, my my hands are a little bit shaky. It's just who I am. All right. Sorry, I think this light might be, found this light in our warehouse. I think this light might be a little bit, but you can see it's, uh, it's starting to change color there a little bit. Trying to make a smiley face for you guys. All 
Awesome. So yeah, when you when you guys have like a when you have a minute, I know that like obviously a UV light is I don't even know what UV. I mean, who knows? It's just a little light that for some reason kind of mimics the sun. Um, and so if you have any of that or, you know, like I said, later with your parents, if you want to take it outside and kind of check it out, if it's a sunny day where you are and you just have like a bottle of the glue or you have the slime, you take it outside and it almost immediately changes the purple. It's 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 pretty amazing. So before this, I actually, I actually want to ask, I want to ask you guys a, a like just quick trivia question. Um, so I know that it's Memorial Day. Um, and so I, I wanted to ask you guys, why do we celebrate Memorial Day in May? Right? This one was, this one was really interesting to me. And I'm going to basically say A, B, and C, and you guys can type in A, B, or C into the Q&A um to 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 let me know what you guys think so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it a little bit a little bit slowly because these some of these answers are a little bit long so a is that the date was chosen at random b is that it was originally honoring a war that ended in may and c is that so the flowers will be in bloom to decorate soldiers graves so a is the date was chosen at random. B is that it was originally named after a war that ended in May. And then C is so that the flowers could be in bloom to honor the soldiers who have fallen. We've got lots of Bs and then we got some Cs. And we're getting a lot of Bs again. A lot of Bs. Kind of mix. mix of B or C. So I, I, I guess I kind of successfully tricked you guys in a way. Um, I, I, I knew that, that, you know, B would be, a lot of people would answer B because, you know, a lot of stuff are named after wars and that kind of thing. But interestingly enough, it's actually C. It's, it's actually so that the flowers would be in bloom so that when we honored the fallen soldiers at their grave sites, we could have some really pretty flowers. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, I thought that was a really nice, nice thing that I, I really had no idea because I know that, you know, a lot of people know that Memorial Day is, you know, kind of, um, you know, honoring, you know, the, the, the people who fought for our country. Um, but, you know, it's, it's interesting that, that it's actually in May because of, of, the, of the, the flowers blooming. So I thought that was fun. Um, all right. So enough of that. Let's get back to the slime, guys. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to be using this this time. Um, I'm actually going to be using, um, I'm going to be using baking soda and contact lens solution for anyone that is using this. I know that these are kind of common at home um, uh, products. And if you're, if you're using this, you're just going to do the exact same thing that I just did. Basically putting a little bit in, mixing it, putting a little bit more in, mixing it and kind of keep doing that. Now it's, it's slightly different when you're using the baking soda and the contact lens solution. To be completely honest, I usually make my slime with magical liquid just because it's a lot simpler. You don't have to have the ingredients. You don't have to have this kind of baking soda powder, um, but it's a little bit different. So what we're gonna do for, for um, this slime is you're gonna take, first you're gonna take the baking soda and you're just going to pour a little bit of that in. Now, I don't have any really good measurement. Um, it's just kind of a little bit, really not too much. Again, you could always add more. You just wanna kind of, sprinkle a little bit in there. And before we add anything else, we're gonna go ahead and stir that up. So just stirring the baking soda in there, making sure that it's mixed in there a little bit. Obviously this is still going to be just like basically 100% glue. We're not gonna start seeing any of it start sticking together, start looking like slime until we add in the contact lens solution. So that's really all you need to do there. Just get it mixed. And then we're gonna take our contact lens solution and we're just gonna give it a few squirts. So again, we dumped our bottle of glue into our bowl. We just put a little, some, some little sprinkles of our baking soda. And now we're going to just do a few squirts of our contact lens solution. Don't wanna to do too much, just squirt, squirt, and then mix. 
Now this will look a little bit different than how Magical Liquid looks. Magical Liquid kind of goes to it immediately and just starts kind of breaking everything up. This is just a little bit different, but as you can tell, it's starting to, to come together a little bit here. So I know I'm gonna need a little bit more. This is still way, way too gluey. You don't wanna, you don't wanna go anywhere near this one right now. So you wanna have your stir. All right, so I'm gonna need to put a little bit more contact lens solution in this. So just give it another few squirts. Nothing too much, it really doesn't need too much. Just a few little squirts. If there's any questions, please feel free. I know this, this one is a little bit different than what we just did. If you need me to repeat anything, I'm more than happy to, just let me know. So we're gonna keep mixing this. So you can see it's starting to kind of come off the size when we do some of the mixing, um, but definitely still too sticky. So what I'm actually going to do is before I add any more of the contact lens solution, we wanna balance it out a little bit. So we're just gonna add a little bit more baking soda. So even less than we did previously, just literally a, a very light touch of it, um, ever so slightly, because this thing, it can just come out really heavily. So you, you, got, you got to really be careful with the, with the baking soda. You just want a little bit of that in there. As you can see, it's really starting to come together here. Before I touch it though, I think I'm going to add a little bit more magical liquid. Sorry, I said magical liquid and I meant Contact lens solution, I, I apologize. I, it is, I see magical liquid way too much every day. Um, <laughs> hey Aaron. Yep. We got a question about the magical liquid slime that we just made. Can it be yep. left without a lid while we make this slime? Is that okay? Absolutely. Mine is just sitting here without a lid as well. So I would say if you're gonna be use, leaving your slime for more than a few hours, I would say you wanna put a lid on it. But if you're just going to be leaving it for you know, up to an hour or so, it's fine not to have a lid on it. Um, it won't dry out. It'll actually, as it sits, it'll come together a little bit more. So you'll actually notice like, if I were doing this and I said, okay, I'm gonna be back in 10 minutes, this would probably um, be even more kind of slimy than, than, than when I left without me even mixing it. So there's definitely, um, you know, it, it, it's definitely is okay to, to leave it out without a top. Do not worry about that whatsoever. So as you can see, as I'm mixing it, it's really, it's, it's basically, you can't even really mix it anymore. It's just kind of all coming up as I'm mixing. So I basically know that this is, this is time to start. So I'm going to, I'm gonna dab it a little bit. And it's, it's definitely not coming off on my hands. It's a little bit sticky, but I like it like that. So I'm kind of touching it. And as you can see, it's still okay right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start digging into this. Um, this might still be a little bit too sticky for some people because if you leave your hands on there for too long, it can kind of, it can kind of become a little bit too sticky, um, but that's really everyone's preference. But again, even if it's a little bit too sticky, once you pick it up and, and kind of start cleaning off um, the sides of the bowl and the spatula and kind of getting it on your hands, uh, you, you, should be, you should be kind of activating it like that. So this is pretty sticky, I would say, um, but I, I kind of like it. I'm gonna see what happens when I kind of clean off the rest of the bowl and see if, it, if it's a little bit less sticky after I get all of this residue off. All right. So as you can see, it's, it's still, you know, it's a little bit sticky. It's, it's kind of sticking to my hands just a little bit more than I would like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plop this back down. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the contact lens solution in there. Now, if I was using the magical liquid, I would just squirt a little bit more magical liquid in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squirt this. And what this does is like, you can kind of dip it in a little bit. Um, even though my hands were, were kind of messy when I did that, 
um, I was able to just kind of squirt that into the bowl. And now when I pick up my slime and play with it, it's a lot less sticky. So now the slime isn't sticking to my hands as much and I'm able to do a nice stretch of it. Sorry, this is a little bit of a, of a close view here, but basically this gives you some really nice slime right here. If you're able to kind of pick it up when it's a little bit more sticky um, and, and kind of play with it and stretch it out a little bit in your hands, it'll naturally get less sticky, but it'll stay really, really stretchy. So that's what I would, that's, that's kind of my, my key, my tip with slime is to kind of like mix it all, just give it a few minutes to let it sit. And even if your kind of core slime in the bowl is a little bit too, um, a little bit too sticky, pick it up and kind of start mixing it around the edges in the spatula with, which have a lot of the activator on them. And that'll really help you. So this is now really nice and stretchy slime, just like the other one that we made real nice and stretchy. We're having some people say that their parents posted their first slime um, on social media. So that's super exciting. We're really excited to see them guys. I'm super excited to see that. I bet they're awesome. I bet they're so much better than what I made. So in order for, in order to have the, you know, we want to we want to have um, the the most Instagramable firecracker slime, right? So we're going to want to put in some of our slime balls. So what you actually want to do is you actually want to make the entire slime. And if, if you have any anything like this, you don't even have to add in the slime balls. If you just have any sort of of add in anything that you like to put in the slime, um, we can put that in now. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And another reason why you don't want your slime to be to be too activated is because you want it to be able to hold these foam balls in it. So you want it to be a little bit sticky so that it can so that the, the balls don't just kind of come out of it. So I am I am making my own little mess, but I'm just going to just pour some of these in here. So if you just kind of open it and you pour it right into the bowl there should be no reason for any of the balls to go anywhere else. And I'm gonna show you right now, uh, the best way to basically mix it within the bowl without taking it up and, and, and making any sort of a mess. So what you wanna do is you wanna just kind of start to press it in and just kind of start folding it in on itself. Now I put a decent amount of slime balls in here and not all of them may go directly into the slime. The slime will kind of tell you almost when it's, when it's overloaded. So the nice thing is that you can just kind of all have it self-contained within this bowl right here. So you'd be able to kind of fold it in on itself. And I think that that's enough right there. So now we have our slime, we have the foam balls in it, the slime balls, and we're ready to rumble with this slime as well. So I have a little bit of, I have a few balls right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put those in the trash um, and, then, and then kind of just finish off cleaning up with this slime. Obviously you still need to wash the bowl, uh, but it's almost, it almost looks like you didn't even use it, which, which I just love, um, which I, I know that you guys will love and your parents will love. Um, so that's, that's my little trick. I'm sure you guys know that already, but just wanted to, to share some of my wisdom with you guys. All right, so now we're going to combine these. So we're going to take both of the slimes and we're going to put them on the table just like this. And what I like to do is have them touch, but not completely. And in a second, I'm actually going to be going back over uh, to the other camera to kind of show you guys because I want to be able to stretch it as much. So you're just going to basically take this, stretch it out, and then start folding it in on itself. So you just kind of stretch it, take it, just kind of lap it. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And now you see this really pretty pink and blue slime start to come together. In a second, that's going to turn into purple. 
and it's going to look real nice. So I just like to kind of slowly stretch. It doesn't really matter how you're stretching it, what, you know, what your technique is, doesn't matter at all. I do a very, very basic way. I know some people on Instagram are able to do like slime flips. Nah, I'm just going to do it kind of casually. You start to see that color kind of come in. So now we kind of have some of that blue, some of that pink, and then we're starting to see some of that purple. And we you can also hear that crunch. That crunch is always real nice. So you're just gonna keep doing this and then you're gonna get the ultimate crunch right now. So you just like do this a few more times. And then we're gonna give it one final, just big crunch right here. There we go. I love it. It's the best. Perfect. So now you have this larger kind of more, uh, you know, light purple, violet, really nice slime. Um, it's, it has that metallic-y kind of feel to it, but then it also will slightly change colors because it has some of that color changing in it. Uh, so if you take it into the sun, you might be able to see it a little bit. You'll probably be able to see it better if you just have the color changing glue. Um, but I really hope that all of you guys enjoyed this. I know that I had a great time. Any, any excuse that I have for making slime is awesome. Um, and I hope to see you guys posting them. I, right after I get off this, I'm gonna go and check some of those out. Um, again, let me remind you, if you're, ta if you're posting it, um, be sure to do hashtag made it, make it with Michaels. So that's hashtag make it with Michaels and then hashtag Michaels classes. And then also, if you, if you would like to tag Elmer's in it so that me and Megan can see them, um, just, just tag at Elmer's products. It's all one word, lowercase. Um, and of course, have your parents do that. Um, if, if you want to be posting anything, uh, definitely um, I would consult your parents and, and have them deal with that. But I had a really good time with you guys here. I'm really excited to see what you guys have made. Um, and you know, if there's any other questions, um, you know, we can, we can, we can do that, that later, but I had a great time and, um, hopefully you guys all have a great Memorial day, have a great long weekend. Um, and I will, I will see everyone later. Bye everyone.